What is up guys, we are back with another reaction video. Let's start checking out a brand new artist. This one is Billy Joel. Piano Man, the official HD video with 235 million views. Somebody Instagram DM me that I checked this out. So I'm like, of course, man, I got you. So that's what I did. He messaged me yesterday and I'm doing it today. I'm that good, man. I'm just the next day. But yeah, uh, why don't we jump into it and see what it's all about. All right, let's do it. I love that little harmonica. It's so freaking underused in music today. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. A regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me. Making love to his tonic and gin. Making love to his tonic and gin. A man alone with his thoughts and his drink. All too common in the world today. He says, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes. But it's sad and it's sweet and I knew it complete when I wore a younger man's clothes. Okay, okay, I'm digging this so far. Kind of just singing about like people who have lost their way at a bar. You could be middle aged, just so sad with your life, drinking your sorrows away. My favorite thing so far has been it's like when I wore a younger man's clothes, because that's so freaking true. Because when you're 18 years old, you think like, oh man, I'm freaking styling. Oh, no one's topping me. And then just slowly style change and change and change. And then eventually you're going to be wearing like grandpa clothes. And you didn't change your clothes at all. Eventually, style change and just slowly losing that and you're just getting sent away. It's very, I do, I, I dig it so far. You don't see that today. Man smoking indoors. Now John at the bar is a friend of mine. He gets me my drinks for free. And he's quick with a joke or to light up your smoke. But there's some place that he'd rather be. Yeah, why did they get rid of that? I would love to see that. He says, Bill, I believe this is killing Ooh. me. As a smile ran away from his face. Well, I'm sure that I could be a movie star. If I could get out of this place. Oh, la, 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 da, da, da. Just like unrealized potential. La, la, that's the most like relatable thing in the world today. Now Paul is a real estate novelist who never had time for a wife. And he's talking with David, who's still in the Navy, and probably will be. <laughs> I love the freaking expressions. <laughs> Some of these characters. Take it away, take it away, man. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody. And you've got us feeling all right. You know the sad thing about this though? Like you see this, this must have been filmed in like the 70s or 80s. You watch this and everyone just in the freaking moment 
like all together, looking their drinks together, just having a good time, smiling. They're sharing the drink called loneliness, but it's better than drinking alone. They're together. Whereas if you were to go to a bar, like nowadays, everyone's like this. And if something is playing like on a piano, like say you go to a loud bar, no one's gonna be listening. That guy's just playing to no one. Everyone's like, oh, I'm doing my own thing, I'm on Twitter. I guess it's just, one. it's just a loss. I would never experience what's going on here. And that's kind of like sad to me because I don't think anyone will ever experience it again. That must've been like the golden age of like living. <laughs> That old man back in those two chicks. <laughs> it's a pretty good crowd for a Saturday, and the manager gives me a smile. Cause he knows that it's me they've been coming to see to forget about life for a while. Oh, that's a well written here. And the piano it sounds like a carnival, and the microphone smells like a beer. Melody or memory? I'm, I misheard that. He's a freaking wizard on those keys, though. And wearing the full on suit like a gentleman. They don't make men like that anymore. Who the heck has this dude been freaking hiding? This is a banger. You play this at a party, I would imagine everyone would be going bakas because this is just exactly the vibe that you want. It's like a simple sounding song, but those are like the ones that are most popular. It reminds me of Hey Jude in a way, because at the end of that song, it's like, na 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 na, hey Jude. And this is like, la da -de da da -de da. It's like everyone is catchy. People could like pick up to it quickly. But this man's a freaking lyricist. Did you hear some of those lyrics? I mean, I don't know how old he was when he wrote the song, but he pretty much described the life of like a 50 year old man, a 30 year old woman trying to make it her way. Like he just perfectly encapsulated people's stories and put it into a five minute song that is a freaking jam. Do you hear this? It just sounds like a happy go lucky song. But if you listen to the lyrics, it's actually freaking very sad. And you're like, oh my gosh. Like, what's going on here? Like, everyone's freaking depressed, sitting alone at a bar, just drinking away their sorrows. But no, this is already just an instant classic. And I like the little crescendo he does with the piano. I'm telling you right now, they're sharing a drink they call loneliness, but it's better than drinking alone. You know how many people in the world are probably depressed and just having these exact thoughts? They're like, all I need is one person by my side. And many people don't have that. You know how many people are alone and sad in the world today? Because everyone's on social media and no one's actually experiencing life in the freaking moment. So if you're sad today, it is probably exponentially harder for you than it was back when the song was written. Because at least then, you can go to the pub, have a good time with all the lads and ladies, and just have some good crack. That's what you want. That's what you want, and that's what I freaking am so sad about because I'm never gonna experience this. Billy Joel, you freaking knocked it out of the park. I might give this a freaking perfect 10 out of 10 score because I freaking love this song. I'm definitely gonna watch this back one more time because I definitely miss so many things. But if you enjoyed this, make sure to smash that like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your top five Billy Joel songs and what should I react to next. This is the first one I've ever reacted to, so drop them in the comments and hope you have a great day. Take it easy.